Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mole for Monday the 23rd of May. With Robert Murray McShane's reading scheme we're continuing to work our way through the New Testament and we've got on to the letters of John. Today we read the first letter of John, the second chapter, and that begins, My dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anybody does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the Righteous One. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. And if we look around the world today, we, we, we are conscious of how much um, sin there is. We're conscious of a brokenness in the world, of um, so many problems. One looks at, at the Ukraine and you say, why is there a war in the Ukraine? Because of sinful humanity. You look at the, the problems in, in Eritrea and Ethiopia, why is it? Because of sinful humanity. The people being kidnapped in Nigeria, because of sinful humanity. Why are people being washed away in floods? Because our sinfulness is forcing people to live um, in places where they oughtn't to live, on floodplains and where the rivers will rise and get them. Um, uh, and sometimes it's because of their greed and sometimes it's because there is no other land available for them. Um, it comes back to humanity. And so many of the world's problems, almost every single one, is caused by our sinfulness. And it's not only the problems in the world, even in our own lives, and I look at, at the people I know, and there are so many broken lives and people struggling with all sorts of issues. And one looks at, um, <clears throat> at our own lives, and, and lives which are ostensibly good. There's nothing radically bad or wrong or broken about them. But I think if we're honest with ourselves, or certainly when I'm honest with myself and I look inside myself, there are all sorts of things that I know are wrong and that I struggle with and that I get wrong time and again. And sometimes there's some things which I won't, don't even acknowledge as being there or don't even recognize that they're wrong. And that will come down the line when, when our minds are transformed. And all of that is part of our own sinfulness. And how do we deal with sin? We can't. And we cannot offer a sacrifice that is big enough. We cannot undo our past. We cannot deal with sin. And John writes, if we sin, we have an advocate with the Father. We have Jesus. And this is the gospel. This is the good news we have. As we struggle in a world, and in a broken world with our broken lives, we have an advocate with the Father. We've got Jesus Christ, the righteous one, standing in God's presence, pleading on our behalf. And not only is he our advocate, he's also the sacrifice that sets us free and restores our relationship with God. That is our good news. And so as we look at the news and we, we, we pray over it and we anguish and we, we wrestle with a, with a fallen world and our fallen lives, we call on Jesus Christ, the advocate, and say, you can help. Begin your work in me. Be blessed.